These brushes are vegans. I mean, they're vegan brushes. They don't eat anything. Hi, this is Eric from Cafe Watercolor. This is going to be a two-part mini-series about brushes and brush strokes. I thought I'd take this chance to introduce you some of my new brushes. They are all synthetic brushes from Escoda. I am slowly trying to move to use all synthetic brushes instead of animal hair brushes. I am not a vegan myself, but this is good to note that no animal is harmed for my painting. Another reason is that synthetic brushes are generally cheaper than real animal hair brushes. So this video is going to be a review on some of the synthetic brushes I have. I will compare them to the real animal hair counterparts, give you the price differences at the time I record the video and my final thoughts. Next week, I will be using these brushes to talk about how to make different brush strokes. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss my next video. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so let's compare the mop brush first. Here we have real squirrel hair brush. They are Escoda Aquario. I got them as a set from Joseph's Bookfish set. And this two is Escoda Altimo. They are the synthetic squirrel hair brush. So they look very, very similar and they actually perform very similar as well. So I'm going to do a little bit of a test and show you guys how they perform on top of each other. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix a color. So I'm going to use the wonderful Mission Gold Cerulean Blue here. And I'm going to hold my brush like this, almost like a chopstick like that, so that I can dip both brush into the bucket and also the paint. So hopefully they will get almost equal amount of paint. So, there go. So, I'm going to do a stroke like that. Okay. So these two are from the Escoda Altimo and these two are from the Aquario. So these two are the mark made by the synthetic scroll hairbrush. These two stripes are made by the real scroll hairbrush. And as you can see, they are very, very similar. They're almost exactly the same. So if anything, I will say, judging by the bead, the scroll hairbrush might pick up a little bit more water, but just a little smidge. I don't think it's that much different, actually. So these both are really, really good brushes. And as you can see, they are both very soft. And I can use the tip of the Altimo and do a little bit thinner line and stuff. It holds some very nice tip. And so does the Aquario. The Aquario is a little bit older by comparison, but it still performs very, very well. So these two brush, they are both very similar. Here's the kicker though, the Escoda Aquario, the number 14 and number 18. This set costs $92.15 at the time I record this video on the Jackson's website. And the Escoda Altimo, I didn't bought them as a set. I bought them separately, but the size are the same. They're number 14 and number 18. And number 14, Escota Altimo, is $20.55. And the Escota Altimo number 18 is $23.83 at the time of recording this video. So these two brush add up together is around $45. So $45 compared to $92. This is around half a price as this. And they perform just as good as the real scroll hairbrush. So this is a really, really great deal and with for the quality of this brush i really love it so i'm still using this a ton because i already got them but after i get the most out of it after they're out of commission i'm pretty much going to move on to just using escota altimo from now on because they are such great brushes and they are synthetic brushes and they are a lot cheaper as well now move on to the synthetic Kolinsky brush. These two are Escoda Versatile. This is number 10 and this is number 14. And at the time of this video, Escoda Versatile number 10 
is eleven dollar and sixty five cents, and the number fourteen is thirteen dollar and thirteen cents. So they are both very very good brushes as well. So the counterpart of Escoda Versatile is the Escoda Reserva. This is the real Kolinsky hairbrush. So I'm going to compare these two brushes together. So same thing. I'm going to mix a color. I'm going to use red this time. So again, I'm going to load up both brushes. So I'm going to do the same thing. So right off the bat, you can see that Escoda Versatile has a finer point than Reserva. Now, the Reserva arguably is a little bit older than that, but the hair is softer than the Versatile. So I'm going to paint them together. Okay, both of them run out. Okay, so again, very, very similar. However, I think the Versatile actually holds just a little bit more paint than the Reserva. Now let me use the synthetic one to do some different type of brush strokes, some thinner lines. So as you can see, you can get some really nice thin to thick lines like that. It has a very nice point, so it's very easy to do so. So let me try the Reserva. Okay, so you can do some nice thin line as well if you use the sharp point tip of the brush. Okay, side of the brush. Okay, try the side of the brush as well. So again, very, very similar. The only thing I'll say is the synthetic one, the versatile one, is a little bit harder. The hair is a little bit more resilient. So you can see by the mark it make, it has a little bit sharper point when you just kind of press it down versus the Reserva. It's more like a round brush. So this is the shape of the brush stroke is a little bit more similar to a scroll hair brush. So while this one is a little bit sharper, but also you can see that it makes some nice fine lines. Both of them make some nice fine line. So the versatile, the edge seems to be a little bit straighter when you're doing brush stroke and things like that. I think just because of the nature of its hair is a little bit harder. While the Reserva, it feels, the Reserva feels pretty good because it's softer. So when you're painting like organic stuff, it probably feels a little bit better. However, Reserva is the, it's a close second. It still feels really, really good. You feel a little bit more resistant with the Versatile. So again, both very good brushes. I'm not going to say they are exactly the same, but I can live with just using Versatile actually, because it's actually a very good brush as well. So I'm just going to compare the number 10 Escoda Versatile versus the number 10 Escoda Reserva. So at the time of this video, the number 10, and Escoda Versatile, the synthetic Kolinsky brush, it is $11.65. And the real Kolinsky brush, the Escoda Reserva number 10 brush, costs about $28.07. So again, this is half actually less than half of the price as this. Again, this too feels a little bit more different. This feels a little bit softer. So if you like softer hairbrush, the synthetic brush will feel a little bit harder on your hand. But for me, the price is a lot cheaper. And also I feel like it's a little bit more versatile, uh, probably because of the name, I'm not sure, because the you can make some nice fine line with it, but you can also paint a little bit more rigid shape just because the hair is a little bit more resilient. So you can paint some hard edge shape stuff a little bit easier versus the Reserva. When you're doing that, you always feel like you need to press down just a little bit more to get a nice hard edge. So I use this to paint portrait a lot and vegetations and stuff, but I can also use this as well. So again, it's your choice, but both of them are very, very good brushes. 
Another one I have is Skoda Perla. I already shared this brush before when I was sharing my painting materials and stuff. So this is also a very good brush, but it is very, very cheap. I actually didn't check how much it is and you can buy them separately. This is a number 12 one. I just want to show you because it's actually still part of my synthetic brush collection. So I like to use it for, I'm just going to mix this two color together. So I like to use it for, you know, obviously this man-made structure, something a little bit harder just because the brush is a little bit harder, a little bit more resilient. So I can get to paint some harder, more straightforward shape, man-made structure and things like that. So these are very, very good for that. And again, they make very nice fine point as well. So this is great for things like maybe electric pools and things like that. And it's very, very good. However, they do go out of commission a little bit sooner. So they are not very, very doable, especially if you paint with the tip a lot. So I tend to replace them a lot more. So all in all, these are all very, very good synthetic brushes. I can do a painting perfectly fine with just these five brushes, maybe with a rigger or something like that. But I've done painting with just these five brushes or maybe even less. I've done painting with probably just four brushes, just like these. And if you add these four brushes together, it's probably a little bit over $60 or something like that. So they are very, very cheap. So. So think of it this way, this four brushes is actually cost less than this two brushes. So the synthetic brush is obviously a lot better deal. However, I don't know how durable those are. So far, they seem pretty good. I have done about 10 plus paintings with these four brushes and they are still going strong. They are still doing very, very well. So if you're interested in any of these brushes, definitely check out Jackson Art Supply. They are a lot cheaper. The price is better than a lot of other online art store, including Amazon. So I will put the link down below so you guys can see in the description area. But yeah, hope you enjoy these and happy painting. I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, these are very nice brushes. I really like them. The only thing I noticed is that Escoda Versatile is a bit harder than real Kolinsky hairbrush, but it's still pretty good for me. I want to be able to switch to completely synthetic brushes. So this is definitely very encouraging to know that these synthetic brushes perform very well. Next week, we are going to take a look at how to create different brush stroke for your painting. It's going to be a good one. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss out my next video. Also, let me know what's your favorite synthetic brush down below. If you haven't, be sure to visit my website at cafewatercolor.com. Sign up to get my fast track watercolor PDF guide. I am Eric from Cafe Watercolor. See you next time.